The way that I have grown up understanding access as a disabled person who's been disabled since I was six months old, I've known it, you know, I grew up with it around like as done as a form of charity most often or a form of guilt or as sometimes even as, you know, this kind of like reluctant um, obligation type of feeling to it. Um, or I've known it as um, assimilation or as like, you know, um, a, a way for people to get more privileges to not necessarily build a just world, but so, so that a few privileged people, can, disa privileged disabled people can get a few more privileged crumbs to subsist on. And I think that with disability justice, we're really saying, you know, no, actually, we want a different way and we don't want access just for the sake of access. We, we don't want disabled people only to have access to the same crappy system that everybody else has. We want to actually think about how we move towards what a just world would look like for us all and what liberation really looks like. Um, so that's one core concept. Um, I think another big concept that, um, at least that I talk about in disability justice work, is interdependency.